Greetings, comrades. I am your host, Bobcat, here in the Art Mind Studios, and it is my joy, my pleasure, much success, wow, to bring you my first impressions and first 60 round review of my new <laughs> Ruger AR in 556. Uh, for the record, anything that you see me loading in and out of this will be dummy ammunition. This cannot fire. This is no more dangerous than a stick from the backyard, but it is empty. Anyway, so the new AR, uh, Ruger AR-556, uh, I picked it up from Engage Armament in Rockville, Maryland. Thanks, everybody. For a total, receipts are right here, for a total of uh, $921. The rifle itself was $729. Uh, it did not come with any sights at all. Um, I bought these uh, Magpul MBUS uh, flip up iron sights and uh, at a, a shop separately I think I spent maybe like 60 bucks 70 bucks total on these this is the uh, Firefield Vortex I think um, does it say no uh, this is the Firefield uh, site that I've had for a while the reason I mounted this on here was because it is in the, the reticle in this is in perfect co with the iron sights, which I really like. But the 729 for just the base rifle, and then another, another 100 or so for a um, Sig Romeo uh, red dot sight, which I decided to put on my uh, Ruger PC9 carbine rifle. And I decided to put it on this and not the... Uh, the AR, at least for the time being, was because I can look and see the red dot and look just below in this little little bridge area and look just below and see the iron sights on the carbine right below that. So, all that together. Um, because this is the state of Maryland, this comes with a 10 round magazine. Uh, again, these are dummy rounds, hence the blue tape, blue, blue projectiles. But locks in nicely, and there you go. Uh, it has selectable um, fire and safe switch here. There is a little lever to lock back the bolt. Uh, more on that later. Uh, and of course, a flip up dust cover that keeps things out of there when you want to keep other things out of there. Um, and then the magazine release is right here. Um, again, state of Maryland. I can only purchase 10 round magazines in the state of Maryland. However, going just across the Potomac River, um, you can get your own uh, Magpul 30 round magazines. Got a couple of these. Again, dummy rounds. And these, these work great. Um, I haven't had Oops, haven't had any issues uh, with these. In fact, I did most of the firing with this. Uh, and it worked great. I love this thing. My only criticism of this, uh, the Ruger AR, is this. You hear that? This, the collapsible stock, feels cheap, sounds cheap. Rest of this, not so much. Uh, solid metal, uh, I think this is aluminum upper and lower um, do, does have the polymer pistol grip but I was surprised when I when I fired this that the recoil was so light so light you know with a big old let me grab one yeah. with with what seems to me a big old cartridge versus the nine millimeter cartridge that I'm used to firing, I thought, holy crap, this is gonna kick a whole lot more than this. And it does not, not at all. It was actually, as far as, you know, plinking at a range goes, a really great experience to, to shoot at. And speaking of ranges, I went for the first time to um, Cindy's Hot Shots in Glen Burnie, Maryland. I had a great time. They have plenty of uh, inventory 
very friendly staff, nice range, good facility. Tell them Bobcat sent you. Um, Cindy's Hot Shots in uh, Glen Burnie. Anyway, so this is the first, literally the first uh, few rounds of this. I was just messing around with the pistol at 40 feet. I didn't really want to stretch things because it's been a couple months. But first 20 uh, in 5.56, five, because that's what this is chambered in. And then I absentmindedly bought uh, a couple of boxes of 223 ammunition, which will fit, but has about 20 to 30 percent lower pressure and will fire safely uh, out of the 556 chambered AR. And that was the first 20 on that. Um, this was just a having fun again at 40 feet with another 20 of 223, um, 223 on the bats. And then uh, just sort of a mix of that. And it's been a couple months, so I'm a little rusty. Uh, this was all just with my Ruger Security 9 9mm uh, pistol. But given that the uh, house has passed the HR1808 um, assault rifle ban, a little bit more on that uh, in a moment, I would really recommend you get yourself one of these while you can. Um, again, I, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of cheap sounding stock. I may replace that later. Um, but as far as uh, rifles go, this was the, the operation of this came back to me really quickly. Um, but I am quite, quite chuffed, as the Brits would say. So, uh, again, this is my. Ruger uh, AR platform rifle in 5.56 caliber, and um, it's good stuff. It is a, what I would consider affordable, um, feels really solid, really well built, and I'm a fan. I recommend you get one, as is your right to do so. Speaking of which, so HR 1808, uh, it is the assault rifle ban, or the assault weapons ban uh, that got passed by the House, probably won't go through the Senate. Um, not a big fan, but seems pretty arbitrary to, to little old me. But you know, I'm just an HVAC technician and an artist, what do I know? But I went through the bill to see, because there's a list of these guns are okay, these guns are not okay, to see you. Well, I got anything that's not okay. And this is what's interesting to me. Guns that are okay, my Ruger security, uh, Ruger PC9 carbine rifle. Um, this can accept 30 round magazines. Again, this is empty, but this can accept 30 round magazines with the uh, Glock magazine adapter. Fires one shot per trigger pull as fast as you can pull and cycle this. Um, I don't know the exact weight, but I stepped on a scale and it weighs the exact same as Ruger AR in 556. I mean, like literally to, to the ounce, it seemed to weigh the same. Um, this can take 30 round magazines. This can uh, fire as fast as you pull the trigger. This is not allowed. This is allowed. To me, functionally, in a uh, indoor mass shooting, close range mass shooting, uh, tragedy, frankly. These are functionally the same thing. They operate the same, they load the same. Uh, they, don't, they don't exactly operate the same, but they, they load the same, they fire the same, they carry the same. The, these can do the same amount of damage. So, but this big, bad, scary gun, can't have it. This traditional looking uh, rifle, totally okay. So to me, this seems a bunch of security theater. Again, the House has, the House has passed this, the Senate has not. Uh, if you feel as I do, as a uh, you know, lefty liberal commie princess, that your rights to defense are being infringed, that you should frankly let your elected officials know that you are not okay with that and your vote may depend very well on that. But that's really it. Um, again, this is the uh, Ruger AR in 556. 
the first 60 rounds, well, 20, 40, 60. Um, it is a really good rifle at a really good price point. And again, thanks to the people at Engage Armament in Rockville. Thank you very much for your assistance and your patience with little old me. Um, but you should get you one while you still can. Um, I hope you are safe and well fed wherever you are. I wish you mucho, mucho amor. Practice your dry fire drills and let your elected officials know what you think about the stuff that they do. They are super easy to contact. Um, the House of Representatives has a whole means of searching who your representative is because you probably have several for your estate. Um, you may even have a couple for your zip code, as I do. The Senate, you only have two per state. Let them know what you think. Super easy to do. Please be kind and respectful. They are people just trying to do a job. But remember, they work for you, for us, uh, not whatever lobbyists, whether from the NRA or from the manufacturers or from anybody else. Um, they work for us, not for them. So thank you very much. And be safe out there, be kind, be ready. Good luck.